Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today I will be talking about three edge rushers that I would like to see the Jets potentially trade for. Before we get started today, I wanted to mention you can find me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why if you haven't already and also maybe please check out the Just Jets podcast new episodes every Monday for right now during the season it switches to Wednesday so we can cover weeks gone by and the upcoming game and all that fun stuff in between. So on this list, some people are not going to like it, and I could already see this coming. I see the comments, and the reason for that is because some bigger names are going to be left off. But specifically, Chandler Jones is not going to make this list. D. Ford is not going to make this list. Von Miller is not going to make this list. And the reasoning behind that is for Von Miller has not played since 2019, is over 30 years old at this point, and is more of an outside linebacker than a 4-3 defense event. Chandler Jones would fit the bill. He just played five games last year, though, and he asked for a trade from the Cardinals a few months ago because he was reportedly looking for more money. So if you're going to give up the assets it's going to take to get Chandler Jones, you're probably going to have to sign him to a big money deal anyway to get him to come. I, I don't think that would be wise to pay big bucks for a 31, going to be 32-year-old Chandler Jones. That doesn't make any sense to me. And D Ford played what one game one and a half games last year he got hurt against the jets no um and the year before that his first year with san fran was very up and down i'm i'm all set on those three guys so in order to make this list for my list they're either gonna have to be a little bit on the younger side still in their prime or if they're over 30 actually play so the first guy that is on my list is brandon grant He's 33, and I know right off the bat you're saying, well, didn't you just talk about Chandler Jones and Von Miller and how you didn't want those guys? Yeah, they are coming off injury. Brandon Graham plays 16 games every year, has for a very, very long time. He's someone who's consistently healthy. And the last couple of years, still very, very productive. I mean, he has an $8 million cap hit roughly this year, and he's a UFA at the end of the year. Obviously, Joe Douglas has a connection to Philadelphia. More on that later. But Joe Douglas spent time there, as we know, and has a connection with these guys. So it's easy to link those players that he has a connection with, with him. He had an 80.8 PFF pass rush grade. He was a very effective pass rusher last year, ranked as the 10th edge rusher. He had eight sacks, 16 hits, 29 pressures, 11 hurries the year prior. Just as productive, eight and a half sacks, 17 hits, 13 uh, hurries, and 30 pressures. Yeah, there you go. So essentially back-to-back, -back, very similar seasons. And the guy plays a lot, and that's going to matter. So would I give up a mid-round pick for Brandon Graham? Yeah, I would. And that's another thing that's on the that I'm going to get into now and just in the whole video here. The Jets have had in the last two years 19 draft selections they have 11 draft picks in this upcoming year the likelihood of them drafting 11 guys in this upcoming class is very very slim it's just, it, that's just the reality it's going to move around whether it be trades for players or just you know trading up to get a player but when you have years and years and years of draft capital you don't just spend draft capital on draft assets. You get draft capital to spend on players and make moves. And while I very much so enjoy that Joe Douglas is building through the draft, the idea that you're just going to trade and have, you know, 15 people draft classes every year is not realistic. And having another 10, 11 person draft class probably isn't realistic. You have to eventually use your chips and make trades to improve too and this defense in 2021 this year I, I know they're not competing for probably a playoff spot or anything beyond that but in order to evaluate the rest of the defense you have to have a pass rush and without your two of your better pass rushers on the edge at least I don't know how you're going to go into the year without one so th that's part of the reason why we're doing this in the first place and Brandon Graham is number three on my list coming in at number two is an eagle teammate and that is Derek Barnett. He's 25 years old, so on the young side, and he's on his fifth year option this year. He had a 62.6 pass rush grade in 2020, five and a half sacks last year, 16 hits, 21 pressures, five hurries. The year prior in 2019, six and a half hits, 20, uh, six and a half sacks, excuse me, 22 hits, 26 pressures, four hurries. So he's a steady pass rusher. Um, is he super flashy? No, no one on this list is going to be super flashy. I'm looking for someone who 
is relatively cheap as in a mid to late round draft selection to fill a hole right now. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to trade for someone who is past their prime and was a great edge rusher, um, but is coming off of injuries or has major question marks. I'm looking for someone who could help right now. And if Barnett could even just be okay right now, which I think he's better than just okay, then that would help the Jets tremendously. And I would be absolutely okay if they decide to give a mid-round pick for Barnett, as would Graham. And the last guy on my list, who is Dante Fowler. Dante Fowler is somehow still only 27 years old. I feel like he's been in the league a long time, and I feel like he's been connected to the Jets for a long time. But this one, I think, makes the most sense for a couple of reasons. I know he didn't have a great year last year. We'll get into that in a second. But he knows both Ulbrich and Robert Sala. Sala was there with the Jacksonville Jaguars as a linebacker coach early in Fowler's career. And Ulbrich was the interim defensive coordinator last year for the Falcons where Dante Fowler played. So that's two connections. I know it's not the Joe Douglas connection, but you have the head coach connection and the defensive coordinator connection. He just restructured his deal. Uh, essentially, this is the last year on his deal. He has $6 million guaranteed and then up to $4 million in incentive. So it could be, you know, like it's somewhere in the $10 million range for him if he hits like 11. I think the benchmark was 11 sacks. And then if he hits nine, it's like three million. Five and a half was like two million, somewhere in that range. It's an incentive lace deal, is essentially what I'm trying to get out of it. He had a 60.9 PFF grade last year. Not great, obviously. Three sacks, eight quarterback hits, 23 pressures, 14 hurries. But the year prior, 11 and a half sacks, 16 quarterback hits, 35 pressures, 19 hurries. The the sack numbers weren't there, but that could come with playing against or playing on the same line with John Franklin Myers and Quinnen Williams and Sheldon Rankins. Like, I don't know. The, the Jets need something off the edge. And I like JFM. I like Bryce Huff. I want them to continue to be in the rotation. Are you willing to say, okay, former undrafted free agent just a year ago who had limited snaps last year, you're going to be pretty much an every down edge rusher? And John Franklin Myers, who isn't a true edge rusher, but he's good at getting after the the quarterback. But is he a speed guy off the edge? I don't classify him as that. But a Fowler, a Barnett, a Graham would help add to an edge presence, which the Jets really need. So these are my three guys that I would look to attack. I know Chandler Jones is a bigger name. Von Miller is a bigger name. D Ford's a bigger name, but that's just it. They're a name. And you know them because they are, at this point in their career, older. And they've all three of those guys missed significant time last year. Where these guys on my list played and are either under 30 or if they're above 30, like Graham, has played a significant amount of games the last few years and has been productive. So these would be my three. You let me know. Who do you want the Jets to trade for for an edge? Let me know on social media or right here in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you next time.